So what's up guys, Sam here, and as promised, we are back with episode three of my Nova Launcher setup. The series where I take you deep into the settings of my own personal Nova Launcher setup, giving you the opportunity to either use them as inspiration or as a platform in creating your own setups, or if you just love the look of my own setup, then you can totally just use the settings as is. Now really quickly, I am now a beta tester for Nova Launcher, so there's a few extra features that are available to my setup, which probably aren't yet available if you're using the regular Nova Launcher, but it's actually dead simple to become a beta tester. In the description below, I've placed a link to the Nova Launcher beta page and the step-by-step -step instructions on how to become a beta tester are available on that website. So if you're keen to join the fun, then check that out. Now, as with each video in this series, it's about at this point that I stop talking, we crank up the music and we get straight into it. But before we do, I just wanna say, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I may just be letting you know how you can finally get your hands on the actual Nova Launcher backup file from this setup to save you the time in setting it up yourself. But without further ado, let's do this.
So there you have it guys, hopefully you enjoyed that and are now inspired to create your own epic minimal Nova launcher setups. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, I'm finally giving in and I will be releasing the Nova launcher backup file for this current setup over on Twitter in the next week or so. So make sure you're following me there so you don't miss out on that update. Anyway, that's it for this video. Guys, thanks so much for your awesome continued support over these past few months. Really hoping you're enjoying the content that's been coming out. But aside from that, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later.